as part of our uh, training schedule for the bridge watch standards, primarily the officers, but also uh, some of our helmsmen and navigators, we are uh, every month bringing uh, about eight to ten folks down to uh, Everett to get into the simulator. It's got uh, full visuals. Uh, it simulates the helm and lee helm consoles. Uh, and it gives all of our uh, officers and our sailors a chance to operate the ship in similar c conditions to what they'll see when we go back to sea. Uh, we can look at mission replays, uh, go back and analyze what decisions were made. Uh, so it's just, it's a fantastic facility, it's a great opportunity, so we hope to maximize our use of it here over the next few months. Today we're going to take the officers through Rich Passage, which is one of the most challenging uh, transits we do on John C. Stennis, which is our home port. I can put just about any weather you want. I can put 60 knots of wind and 40 foot seas and put you in fog and snow or sleet or hail or any other thing and we can put you just about anywhere in the world. If we know what your next port is, I can design a program that puts you into that port and gets you into the port. If you're going to go into Yokosuka uh, the next time you go, or San Diego for that matter, uh, we can put you down in San Diego and you can navigate into San Diego. Each time you show up, we're going to give a little more challenge to the bridge team as they become more experienced. What you don't feel here, when the ship heals, you don't see it. You're standing on a floor in the room. So that, and you don't get the engine vibrations. Uh, if you stick your nose out the bridge window, you don't get the wind, because there is no bridge window here. Uh, so, uh, but from a ship handling navigation viewpoint, it's very accurate. I, I would say that when I started out my seagoing career a long time ago, we didn't have a tool like this. Uh, and this is probably, from a navigation and seamanship viewpoint, uh, a terribly powerful training tool. Uh, and I'm pleased to see that the, the Stennis bridge team is taking advantage of it.